morning, Mr. Edwin. Edwin. Oh, Mr. Edwin. To Bland. Too spicy. Chuck it. Chuck it. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, sales have gone down in our Territory Day Special Edition Firecracker Noodles. Territory Day is long since gone. Take them off the market. Bin them. But don't you think we should at least sell them in bulk at discount prices? In firecracker Noodles. I'd like to see them set on fire. <laughs> set on fire. <laughs> And sales have gone up for the crocodile flavoured noodles. Well then, double the stock order. And the, and the green chicken flavoured noodles have surpassed any other flavour in the market today. <sighs> Where has good taste gone? Uh, what do you mean by good, sir? Figure of speech, Billy. A few more years in school would have done you some good. Well, by speaking of good, uh, the new exit signs have arrived today. Don't get too excited. That's only half the work done. Have you got a quote from an electrician yet? Well, actually, sir, I took it upon myself to install them myself. After hours. Oh, but, but I did not leave the aircon on for too long. Oh, well, maybe you're slightly less hopeless than I originally thought you were. Just my son. Well, shouldn't you answer it then? Lester Edwin's office, how may I help you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Hip it, hooray! Is it your birthday today? To be honest, I'd totally forgotten myself. Well, we should do something today. No, we should not. There's too much happening already. But there's the new TV commercials. Would you, would you like to go see them? Good idea. Let's go. So is this the one for the green chicken noodles? Uh, no sir, this is actually the one for the spicy range. And what about the green chicken commercial? Oh, well we haven't quite completed that one yet. You're a personal assistant, Billy. Shape up, or you can kiss your job goodbye. Yes sir, I'm ready, sorry. Here. since 1974. Stop! 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 You promised me a decent commercial. That's not a decent commercial. But Mr. Edwin, sir, you haven't seen all of it. I can just tell. It's an absolutely terrible job. Just like everything else you do around this place. Same time. Same place, next Friday. I want a decent commercial. Something snappy. And for goodness sake, do something about that green chicken ad. I've organized for you to have a holiday for your birthday. Thank you, but no thank you. Oh, but sir, I've already bought them. With company money? Uh, uh, yes. 
Your flight leaves at two o'clock. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Lester. What's this? Oh, remember those noodles you wanted to be burnt in a bonfire? Oh, Billy, no. Oh, well, nobody wanted to do it, so I took it upon myself to burn them all. And where exactly did you burn it? Over there. Next time, Billy, don't take everything I say literally. Oh, oh sorry, sir. Oh, are you looking forward to your holiday? No, Billy. There's a parcel for you outside. Tell Billy to ring it in. Will do. First day wishes. Who's it from? I, I think you can see for yourself, sir. Good morning, Mr. Edwin, sir. The airport isn't too far away from here. But watch out for traffic. What do you mean? We never get any traffic jams in Darwin. I'm gonna miss it! Come on, let's go!
the mind off things, and even that didn't go according to plan. disastrous news. A plane departing from Darwin Airport has crashed into bushland north of Catherine. Witnesses claim to have seen smoke emerging from the left engine shortly before plummeting to the ground. Flight GA-14 left Darwin Airport this afternoon at 2pm. It was destined for Sydney but at 2.30 CST initiated a distressing just north of Catherine. Officials are on standby. Supposed to be on that plane. Why am I still alive? It is believed that Lester Edwin was one of the passengers on board this fatal flight. Mr. Edwin was an entrepreneur who moved to Darwin back in 1974 to start his business, just before Cyclone Tracy forced him and many others to start again. Mr. Edwin will always be remembered as a pioneer in reviving Darwin's business sector. Noodle seller for crying out loud. I've been too caught up in this world of chasing my own tail and all for my own aggrandizement. There were probably more important people on that plane. Why me? Why have I been spared? Nobody needs me. That's beautiful. Carry on. That's lovely. for coming here today. Mr. Edwin, he was a very good man. He let me try many times to prove myself. I just wish I could have lived up to his expectations. He will forever be remembered. As we all can agree, the man who inspired us to really work hard. Mr. Edwin was a man of true courage. 
of true will, power, and at times rather persuasive. Billy. You, you died. I never caught my plane. Uh, but, 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 but why? I was too late. It took off without me. At first I was frustrated, as I always am. But soon I heard about the disaster. I realised that I'd been spared. Oh, sir. I didn't deserve to be spared. You certainly did, Mr. Edwin, sir. I treated you and everyone else in my life as if you were inferior to me. That's absolutely not true, Billy. You're a better man than I am or ever will be. I don't know how I'd ever cope without you helping me out. Sir, think nothing more than of it. I need you to know that I really appreciate what you've done for me. Thank you, sir. No. Thank you, Billy. I've come to the end of the line. And now, I've got a really big favour to ask of you. Would you take over as head of Edwin's Noodles? Sir, I'm not sure I could. I believe you can, Billy. What about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to retire. One thing I realised last night is that my family really needs me. My grandchildren need a grandfather. And it's sad that I've taken this long to realise that I should be there for them. But finally I have. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Billy. Really.